A bar in a trendy suburb of London. People are going about their business, enjoying drinks, relaxing, and using the free Wi-Fi network. But this customer is not off duty. It's new recruit Polly, and it looks like she's here on business. In Taking the Biscuit. This lady has just become her first mark. Hi there. Um, I wonder whether you could help me and do a bit of um, market research and do an online survey for me. It's just about like what you want to shop, you know, like, what you buy and yeah. stuff. And basically, just you can put anything in your basket. You don't have to buy anything. You don't yeah. buy anything. But just, you know, have fun. And it's basically to see what people buy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's all like yeah. that, really. Yeah. Is that cool? Right. Yeah. Just get this out. Oh, fantastic. Okay. What's your email? Um, so Polly is carrying out some market research. She sends the mark an email with details of an internet survey. All the lady has to do is log in to a few online shopping and social networking sites, then fill out the survey, rating how user-friendly they are. Thanks, Lynn. lovely. Bye. See you in a bit. Other people with laptops are also asked to take part. Twitter and just tweet that you're here or something. Just reply to yeah. the email yeah. and just yeah. say how easy it is. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Okay. All right. So, spend a few minutes browsing the internet, then fill in a few questions. What could possibly go wrong? After leaving the bar, the marks were shown some computer printouts. This is my uh, Hotmail account, which has all my, obviously, private emails in there. No, hang on a minute. That was on your Twitter, wasn't it? That was on my Twitter. Those printouts should look familiar, because they're of the web pages the marks had just logged into, using their confidential logins and passwords. But I'd be interested to know how you did that, because that is quite scary. So, what really just happened? No. Just replies yeah. to email yeah. and just yeah. say how easy it is. That'd be fantastic. Holly oh. wasn't interested in market surveys. The hustlers were just trying to get the marks to visit sites that required them to log into private accounts. But even without the bogus survey, this scam can happen to anyone using open Wi-Fi anywhere. What the marks didn't notice was another computer user on the other side of the room. It was Jazz. And he was interested in just one thing. Cookies. A cookie is a computer file that's like a key for websites. When a user logs into an account, they provide their username and password. These details are often encrypted, so they're very hard for criminals to intercept. This is sent from their laptop to the Wi-Fi connection and then onto the website. But then, the website sends back a cookie that's saved onto the user's laptop. The cookie basically means the laptop has already logged in with the correct password and it doesn't need to log in again. But the cookie is normally unencrypted. Jazz was running a freely available piece of software that allowed him to make a copy of the cookie as it was being sent to the Mark's laptop. And once it was saved onto his computer, he could just visit the same site as the Mark and was allowed straight into their account. No login and no password required. I feel quite, what's the right word for it? I can't even think of the right word. What's the right word? Violated almost, yeah. you know? So it's not brilliant. <laughs> the hustlers just added items to the Mark's Amazon checkout baskets and used their Twitter accounts to post bogus tweets. I've just been scanned by the Bill Hustle. <laughs> but if this had been a genuine criminal attack, the results could have been devastating. Criminals with access to your logged in accounts could potentially um, hijack your shopping session, add stuff to your shopping cart. Worst case scenario, if a criminal gets hold of your email account, for example, I mean, they could send any email in your name, they could instruct people to change your delivery addresses, set up bank accounts in your name. You think of your worst nightmare, they could at least get the ball rolling on that with your email. If you own a Wi-Fi device, you're probably always looking for a free hotspot. But remember, you could be sharing that hotspot with anyone. In this case, we've accessed a couple of low-risk websites, but real criminals could be eavesdropping on your most private conversations.